Well, it's the great showdown over this health care law deadline. States across the country hours away from saying yay or nay if they'll set up these health care exchanges the law requires. To Texas Governor Rick Perry has already decided. What's that decision, Gov? Well, we've said all along that we weren't interested in uh, putting more people on the uh, Titanic, and that's exactly what you would be doing with the expansion of, of Medicaid. And the health care exchanges, uh, you know, same answer on that one. We're not interested in being uh, brought into a system that, frankly, nobody knows how they would work. Uh, and so having Washington, D.C. make the calls for the state of Texas, uh, not good policy, not good politics. So the answer to uh, this administration on expanding Medicaid and the exchanges is a very emphatic no. And others are beginning to follow uh, Governor Nikki Haley in South Carolina, Nebraska's governor, others I expected to do the same. Then what? Then what does this mean? Well, the states have always been where this should have been uh, focused to begin with. I mean, we're going to be the ones that have to deliver these programs, and you can't make this one size fits all. I mean, this goes back to a conversation that we've had for uh, literally years with Washington, D.C., where we've asked for waivers to be able to run our programs better, to deliver better health care, more accessible, more affordable health care. And, and Washington all too often says no with that mentality of, you know, they know what's best. And the fact is they don't know what's best. So we're going to continue to push back on Washington, D.C. And uh, regardless of who the administration is, uh, if they think they can do health care better than the governors of the states, they are sadly mistaken. So uh, you, obviously you have a legal team. They've told you you are within your legal right to challenge this. Absolutely. I mean, we've, you know, we, we've sued the federal government on a, a regular basis, unfortunately, whether it was uh, the EPA on uh, the Clean Air Act and whether it's been uh, issues of, of health care and uh, what have you. The voter ID, again, uh, makes all the sense in the world to most people in the state of Texas that you show a photo ID before you go vote and the federal government and the Justice Department is, is suing us over that. So, uh, you know, we're not afraid to sue the federal government and we're not afraid to stand up for our sovereign rights. Uh, the Tenth Amendment means something in the Constitution and uh, Texans believe in it quite strongly. Are you going to run for president again? I have no idea. i got a legislative session in front of me that's substantially more important than uh, what's going to be happening three and four years down the road. All right. Let me know if that changes. Uh, Governor, it's always good having you. Thank <laughs> you very You'll be the much. first to call. Rick Formula Perry. One in Austin, Texas. There's still good news in this country, and Texas is the epicenter of it. Sir, always good having you.